Now, it also takes us to the ability of, well, you're saying if I don't market time, I never get to buy low and sell high. And my answer is yes, but we get to do something better. You see, when you buy low, sell high, you have no idea in the market timing world whether or not now is a relative high or a relative low. You have no way to know that. Now, you could guess at it, and sometimes those guesses, those bets do work out. Every now and then, somebody leaves a casino with a bunch of money. But most of the time, the casino keeps a bunch of money. So to rebalance means each year, at least yearly, you're going to go back to the original portfolio that you chose. Now, in a market downturn, you let's say you had a portfolio that's 80% stocks, 20% bonds. Well, at the depth of this downturn, you may have had your portfolio drop on the equity side by say 30%, which means your 80% of your portfolio that was supposed to be stocks is now much less. Now maybe it's 55%. Well, that means we had another chunk of the portfolio called fixed income that's been stable. The bonds have been stable, <laughs> especially if you choose them correctly or not market time with extra long-term bonds, et cetera, the way we do it very short-term bonds, lots of stability. We can sell those and buy equities because the equities are at a relative low compared to fixed income. So we actually, with our rebalancing, when the market takes steep downturns, we can get an advantage by rebalancing in that downturn so that we sell the things that have performed well and we buy those things, those asset classes that have not done well. Then step three is invest more if you can. If you had some money on the sidelines, you were thinking about it, hadn't quite made the move yet, et cetera, that is where you take additional territory. Getting your money at work in the market, putting yourself in the position that you're going to gain from what might be referred to as a discount. Now, we're not going after preferred market entry, trying to catch the bottom. It's more like if we looked at stocks in January, and we're like, wait, we'd like to buy all those stocks. That's going to be part of our investing strategy for the future. Well, as of mid-March, we had a significant and steep discount on all those same stocks. So what you never do, if you, let's say you liked a particular kind of suit or a particular set of clothing that you want to wear and you go by the store and they're all on sale, 30% off. Well, the first thing you do is consider, maybe, do I need a couple more? Maybe I should get one. But the last thing that would be on your radar is what I should do is run home into my closet. And all these clothes I was perfectly happy with before, they're all being discounted! This is terrible! And then you run home and put all your suits on offer up. Hey guys, so glad you could tune in and watch that video. I wanna remind you to subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell so you can get the latest piece of financial knowledge that we release. And don't forget, go to Amazon, get a copy of Sound Financial Advice. Why? Because it'll make you better looking and smarter.